I've been told to keep this as short as possible. <laughs> now, long, 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 long. Long, drag it out, drag it out. Yeah, but we got a U turn here because of the bets going on. <laughs> because if you didn't already know, Ben is a massive Aston Villa fan. <laughs> so the quicker I wrap this up, the quicker Ben can get to where he really wants to be. <laughs> the White Horse. <laughs> Seriously though, before I start, I just want to thank a few people because it really has been a very special day for all of us involved. So first of all, I'd like to thank both Ben and Nikki's parents for putting on a wonderful day for all of us. I think you'll all agree the wedding reception beats a few scotch eggs down the Queen Vic <laughs> with Pat Butcher and Peggy Mitchell. <laughs> I'd also like to thank everyone for coming today, especially the Villa fans. <laughs> I was thinking about Brent a crowd. He doesn't have many friends. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> Um, I would also like to raise a toast to the bridesmaids for looking so pretty and glamorous today. <laughs> I know both of you are either married or engaged, but just to let you know, I am staying in room 122. <laughs> Please feel obliged to knock on. Ben has told me his tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, but most importantly, I can't start my speech without mentioning the most beautiful woman here in the room today. No, not my mum. <laughs> well, looking very nice, mum. Unfortunately, you've been outshone by the beautiful Nikki, and you look stunning today. And it's uh, it really is uh, an honour to be here. Today. <laughs> It really is a great honour to be Ben's best man today, but not one I really deserve. I'm not the best man today, I'm just a really good bloke. The best man here today is Benjamin Flynn. Now I've known Ben since the age of three. We met at nursery and have since grown up together going to school and enjoying the odd pint from time to time. <laughs> time to time. So born on the 29th of February 1984, Ben was a very special child. He was blessed with the boyish good looks of Peter Beardsley. <laughs> the charisma of Keith Chegwin. <laughs> The athletic body of Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> I've got a fan here. <laughs> Thank you. Ben, however, was not destined for a career in TV or male modelling like his brothers. He's <laughs> uh, become a successful supply chain manager. Before Nicky, Ben has not had many girlfriends, but the ones he did have were a real mixed bunch. First he had Linda, the blurb doll from China. She let him down. Then he had Sally, the German shepherd. She gave him the run around. And finally, Gary. From Chelmsley Wood. <laughs> now, I've been told to keep my speech clean, so less said about Gary the Ben. <laughs> but Ben, you've got to be honest, he was a great footballer. <laughs> control, especially in the box. <laughs> Excuse me about that. <laughs> Moving on quickly. <laughs> They say marriages are made in heaven. Well, this one was made in Aussie Bar on Broad Street. <laughs> I remember Ben faced stiff competition that night from another fella called Jamie Pooley. <laughs> but he literally did smell like his namesake. <laughs> 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 
Because if you didn't already know, Ben is a massive Aston Villa fan. <laughs> so the quicker I wrap this up, the quicker Ben can get to where he really wants to be. The White Horse. <laughs> Seriously though, before I start, I just want to thank a few people, because it really has been a very special day for all of us involved. So first of all, I'd like to thank both Ben and Nikki's parents for putting on a wonderful day for all of us. I think you'll all agree the wedding reception beats a few scotch eggs down the Queen Vic with Pat Butcher and Peggy Mitchell. I'd also like to thank everyone for coming today. Especially the Villa fans. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's thinking about Brent to crowd. He doesn't have many friends. These are my friends. Um, I would also like to raise a toast to the bridesmaids for looking so pretty and glamorous. <laughs> both of you are either married or engaged, but just to let you know, I am staying in room 122. <laughs> please feel obliged to knock on. <laughs> ben has told me his tradition. <laughs> Finally, but most importantly, I can't start my speech without mentioning the most beautiful woman here in the room today. No, not my mum. back there. Well, looking very nice, mum. Unfortunately, you've been outshone by the beautiful Nikki. And you look stunning today. And it's, uh, it really is uh, an honour to be here today. It really is a great honour to be Ben's best man today, but not one I really deserve. I'm not the best man today, I'm just a really good bloke. The best man here today is Benjamin Flynn. Now I've known Ben since the age of three. We met at nursery and have since grown up together going to school and enjoying the odd pint from time to time. <laughs> So, born on the 29th of February 1984, Ben was a very special child. He was blessed with the boyish good looks of Peter Beardsley, <laughs> the charisma of Keith Chegwin, and the athletic body of Bruce Forsyth. I've got a fan here. <laughs> <laughs> ben, however, was not destined for a career in TV or male modelling like his brothers. <laughs> but he became a successful supply chain manager. Before Nicky, Ben has not had many girlfriends, but the ones he did have were a real mixed bunch. First, he had Linda, the blow up doll from China. <laughs> she let him down. Smell like his namesake. 